Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk to you about power chords in Lyrical. Just imagine you come up with some power chord progression like this one. Or your bandmate brings it into the rehearsal. So what do you do with it? How do you maybe create a melody over it? Or uh, how do you play a solo over it? I show you how to put this into Lyrical and what Lorica can do for you. So I mirrored my phone here so you can see what I'm doing. I open up Lorica and the first thing we want to do, create a new song. We do this with the little plus on the top right corner here, create a new song and I call it Power Chord. Power Chord. Great. So now you see the first bar uh, with the four beats in it. Um, I can change bars here if I want to, I uh, can do a 5-8 out of it, but for now we just stick to the standard. Uh, so, and the first chord is a D power chord. What do we do? We type in the root, the D, and for power chords it's a 5, so we do the D5 here. Then we do the next bar, so it's a C5. C5, C power chord. And again, the next bar, that's a B flat. So we do B flat 5 power chord. And the last one, it's a G. So we do a G power chord. Great. Now the magic happens. I hit analyze here. And now let's see, I can do it a bit bigger, I think. Um, Let's see what Lorical suggests. So I did find out in the blue line here that we can play on the D5, we can play D minor pentatonic. Well, that's not a big surprise. But here on the C5, we could change to the A minor pentatonic. And on the B flat, we stay on the A minor. And on the G5, we can change to the G minor pentatonic. Why would we do that? So let me show you. I put this into my looper now, the chord progression. So if I would play the A minor pentatonic on top of it, it would sound something like this. To make it a bit more interesting, gonna stop this for now. Um, we could use half tone steps and these half tone steps are created by using different pentatonics and combining them. So for example we have the D minor and I want to keep this all nice in the fifths fret area. So uh, first of all if I don't know all the pentatonics and all the patterns I can look them up in Lorica. So I just type on here and I see Okay, on the D5 chord here, um, and I want to play the D minor pentatonic, I look up out here, you see the fifth fret, and then I can see, okay, this is this pentatonic pattern. So we're going back, and now let's look up A minor pentatonic. I think we all know that one, but still, I'm gonna go into here, I look up the fifth fret and I can see the A minor pentatonic pattern here. And what we notice is that actually here, if you just look, for example, on the top two strings, uh, that we find a half tone, a semitone step. Like if we use the D minor pentatonic, And now you see A minor pentatonic. There, see? Half tone step, which usually don't appear or doesn't appear in the normal pentatonic. So this is already a thing we should consider when playing solos. It sounds more interesting and we can create more lines. So what's next? Uh, I'll show you in a second. What's next? Um, we can use the A minor pentatonic again. 
And now we can use the G minor pentatonic. What we can do now, we could leave the fifth fret for a moment and slide two steps down. Play the same pattern basically. Or we could just stay in the fifth fret. We look up the pattern for the G minor pentatonic. So fifth fret again here and And that's it. So how would that sound on our chord progression? I start my looper. Here we go. So you can hear, you can weave in and out between the different pentatonics via the semitone steps and you can probably do much better than I do. Have a try yourself. And if that's not enough, you can find the scales and the arpeggios and you can even alter the algorithm. How that works, I show you in the next video.